Welcome to No Madness Live. If you're new here, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. All right, live chat. There y'all are. Hello, hello. It's Saturday. Saturday. Reality Chica. Stormy. Good morning. 10-4, good buddy. Now listen, we're a reaction channel. We react, react to all nonsense and some, you know. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> I don't know how we've stayed so committed this long to nonsense. Hi, Welsh Rabbit. Oops, a daisy dot. And a gag. All right, so Foodie Beauty, our soap opera. We get to watch all her spiraling, all her indecisiveness, her impulsiveness, and all her addictions, would include, which includes food, men, and THC. Well, that's what I think. She wants to go back. I think Salah's in her ear, right? He, he can't afford... To pay for that condo, his car, that stuff. He needs her. <laughs> Even though she says, he has to pay for his own things. Because I have to get an apartment here in Canada. So I feel like Salah's amping it up. It is nonsense. And once again, she puts herself on the back burner for a man. For a man, and you can, listen, 101,000 subscriber channel should not need money when she has no bills. No bills. Make that make sense. She said those bills, he pays those bills. Not that I care to pocket watch, but all of a sudden, out of nowhere, for the first time, kind of, in Foodie Beauty Verse, has she been desperate for money? She just got a plaque for being a 101,000 subscriber channel. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. She needs to put herself first. She should not be, in my opinion, being controlled by somebody from another country. Yeah, Tippy Toes, he ran in the kitchen. Yes, Mr. Tiggs. We're gonna start hearing sounds soon. Now, the other sounds you hear are the, um, is the beagle next door um, because his mom and dad, yes, he has a dog walker. Um, they went to go see the eclipse. So they made a whole thing out of it. She is grifting hard, and she's also getting defensive hard per usual. And I'm pretty sure it's from the community post I put up. But, yes, we all have cash apps, PayPal's. But to put it on a community post is different. Under, or a, listen, right after, you didn't do anything yesterday, no live, nothing, uh, you put your cameo up on your community post. Then you started with this right here, this part. You're, you know, typical. I've had many people ask for my PayPal information. Then tell them to reach out to you in email. If you want to keep it private, like you said, for those who want to send support, all contributions will be kept private. And I always have a personal thank you message to those who do send me something. Oh my God, then I said, you need to stay home and you need to do a health arc. You need, listen, I know she's either doing it for one of three reasons or all three reasons. He has control over her money. She can't spend the money in Canada, her own money in Canada on the things she wants, which she has every right to do. She earned it, it's hers. Right? She's not married. Sorry. But anyway. Um, or 
She wants to go back to Kuwait because she can't deal with adulting. And I believe she can deal with adulting. I think Salah, you know what I mean? He wanted Kybella to send him money. He didn't even know her. Oh my God, this just makes me so uncomfortable. So anyway, she says, how is this begging? Laughing my ass off. Most creators have a PayPal or a Cash App. Most of us don't have a plaque either, 101,000. And not only that, we don't put it in a community post with a link. It's either in people's description and it's just there or mods drop your cash app link for people who don't want the 30% taken by Super Chats. That's it. This is definitely, this is definitely something different. Please, she says, begging is please, please give me money. I need it. Actually, <laughs> I need it for this or that. Actually, that's what you're supposed to do. You are supposed to be 100% transparent when you put up a community post, cameo, whatever. But when you put up with a link to your PayPal, ma'am, you've been on here seven years. You've never done this. Even before you got a plaque or 101,000 subs, you never did this. Except for that one time, you know, when the lights went out over there in Canada for an hour, you panicked. Um, but no, you've never done this. And you're, listen, we got to try to figure this out. Let's go to, um, let's go to this and see if we can pick up the nuggets that, you know, you either, oh, I don't even know. But it's not, once again, you go to Canada to get healthy and get proper doctors and tests. And then you, and then Salah pulls this crap and you run right back. You know what I'm saying? You, you, he does this every time. He's so, uh, listen, he feeds you and he doesn't do anything about your health. He is not qualified. You're finally back in Canada. And we're not sure if the apartment thing's real either. And if it is, she makes her own money. She just got paid two weeks ago. She should have plenty to get herself an apartment. Even, I mean, she gets paid again in 16 days. Yeah, I don't know if she's gonna stay. I'm telling you. I just don't know. I mean, I've never seen her like, like this needy for... I think she wants to go back to Kuwait. Nobody is going to pay for the ticket for her to go back to Kuwait because I think her family wants her to get healthy. They want her to get, like, I, see doctors. I know she's not getting Sam back or else she would have taken picture. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I ain't even worried about the Sam thing. I'm worried about her being all flippy floppy and impulsive. She is, so, remember when Nader, she, he wasn't even her boyfriend for 20 days and she would be in a panic that he was cheating on her. She even admitted that she didn't go to family things because like she was so afraid he was going to cheat on her. It's like, ma'am, could you put yourself first, please? There ain't a man that walks this earth that's worth the final curtain. Do you see what I'm saying? Get healthy. Why do you need a man to make you happy? You're not happy. We've seen Kuwait. You're not happy over there. And Tara goes, morning all, I wake up to e-bagging from Chantal. Yes, but she said, how is this bagging? Why don't you just say to your Beezers, I want to go back to Kuwait and I don't have the money to go there. Well, wait for 16 more days and you will, won't you? If you have made it to 101,000 subs. How are you this broke? I don't get it. I don't get it. To the point where you gotta do a community page. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I think, um, yeah, he, if a man really loved you and cared about you, like, he just seems, I don't know. Well, it is. He seems like Nader. I'm sorry, but he does. 
He's aggressive. Um, I think he plays it different where he knows what she wants to hear. And, and I think that's how he plays it. But if he truly cared about her, he'd say, everything will be fine. I don't want you back here until you're healthy. The end. And then she'll get in her own head. Uh, I, he's not texting me. Where is he? He's not calling me. This is, you need to fix yourself. Come on now. I can't even believe this is real. I really can't. I have never seen a woman 40 years old who cannot make a decision and stick to it and just makes a life of chaos. Well, I guess I have. It's a couple YouTubers I can think of to be honest. All right, so let's, let's, okay, before we even react to her coffee bees with the crap audio, let's just see if, she, if it's her food addiction or her THC addiction, he's not giving her the money she wants, or if she's trying to get money to go back to Kuwait. Let's, let's try to figure this out. If you ask me, I think she can't make a decision to save her damn life. And staying in Canada and waiting for the health care, waiting for the doctors, at least you have an ER you can trust if anything goes wrong. And at least you can, you can know that you're going to get all the testing you need and get on the path to health. But going to Kuwait could be the final curtain. There's no way you can keep doing this travel. And there's no way you can stay more than three months. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. And, and whatever is going on behind the scenes with, with Salah, when he feels her pulling away, he does extra to get her back. And then it's the same story. She just sits there, eats, and sleeps all day. Definitely Kuwait would be the final destination. I don't, I don't even know if her body has it in her to do another all-day travel. I think it's partially that she isn't making enough off YouTube during Kuwait. Think about this, though. Right. So stay in Canada, build your channel, build your money, and do it through content. Content. Eh. No, we're not if you're The weather's crappy. Nope, not really anything fun today. You can see my hair. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. I see. mean, when she first got there, she's like, yay, I'm in Canada. And I think, like, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but she was really happy to be home. So I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. She is either pretending she's miserable, so Salah doesn't think she's overindulging. I don't even know what her game plan is. Yeah, now, well, she's eating and sleeping still, but... Uh, at least she's uh, on a path to some sort of self-actualization. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. This is the most nuts shit I've ever seen in my life. Stop talking. No, Jenna, I'm married. I'm married. Why are you guys asking me questions? No. Um, yeah, I did go. And that's possibility, Dana. I've even said it. Whenever she starts building up her depression and her anxiety, right? The first thing she can think of is, I got to go where I can get THC. That's the only medicine that works. Like she just wants to green out from the world, right? She is a self medicating, anesthetizing human. We've seen it with food. We've seen it with THC. We get it. We get it. We get it. Um, and I'm just like, your anxiety comes from your chaos. I mean, it takes work. We know she hates to work on anything or commit to anything. And it's so much easier to go over to Quay and just give her money away, and sit there and bed rot in Kuwait. We know it's easier for her. Yeah. She can't regulate her emotions. I mean, she's set up therapy. Will she go? Probably not. She, it's almost like she's so afraid to not be a victim anymore. She's so afraid of if she got healthy, and then she would be held responsible to live life. It's easier to be a victim. 
way easier. You know, woohoo me, um, we, uh, right? I can't go anywhere. I have sciatic and oh, I have food issues and you just have to accept it or you're fat phobic. And I, we've heard it from many. The problem is, foodie, you're 40 now. Your body is like a 40-year-old car, okay? The Kia, listen, the Kia is in worse shape at this point than you. But you're a 40-year-old car and you can't keep doing the same abuse and think that the car, your body, is going to continue on. This is why people are like, this isn't cute anymore. At some point, you're going to end up like the last seven people that called everybody a fat phobe. They're gone. Final curtain. And so, I feel like, in my opinion, Salah is controlling her money. Absolutely. She is never going to get healthy as long as she obsesses over another human being who is healthy and he doesn't care if you're not healthy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't fat shame her. This is the one thing you can control in your life is your food intake. Oh, in the, to the apartment, yeah. That right there was a not convincing apartment. Somebody asked her if she's been over to the apartment. Um, yeah, I did go in the, to the apartment, yeah. See that? Am I sad? I'm like a mix of emotions. Maybe I just want to talk about, like, I feel like. I feel like that Salah knows and he's kind of like Nader. Nader wanted you uh, to move out from Pete, being with Pete, move in with him because he wanted all your money to be his. He didn't want your money going out to anything or anybody but him. Pete's, uh, the cat's. Uh, and he's done the same thing with Nader's or with Didi's mom, in my opinion. Didi's mom was being taken care of by healthcare professionals in a home, right? And he's like, oh, that's a lot of money per month. That could go in my pocket because we know Didi works. We know that, you know, anyway, we don't care about that situation, but it's the same mind frame. We know with the text messages to Kai Bella that, that, that Salah was very intrusive about how much money Kybella makes, right? And we know he's broke because he couldn't even fly Kybella to Kuwait to spend two weeks in bed with him, right? He wanted her to pay for it. Oh, what a gentleman. What a knight in shining armor. We already know that Foodie is a sucker for men, as long as you let her eat. But see, now she's over in Canada and she's gonna get her own apartment. And I believe that what drove her to Canada was her not having control over her money when she wants takeout. So I think he's making her promises again. And he hates Christian women, right? Right there is a, that right there is for me is, never mind, I won't say it. I'll just, you know what, we'll just act it out with the uh, poo boy. So there's that. Um, and we know when, when you are romance scammed, let's just say, um, some of them are pretty good at figuring you out and making sure they keep pushing that love button, right? What? What? <laughs> anyway, she came home because she was not doing very well over there mentally. We've seen it. Um, and so she came home to get some THC and visit her family for her 40th. And uh, now he's saying all the things again. And she's conflicted. She just said she's conflicted. So. Without getting too personal, you know, but if I could describe the level of conflict that I feel inside. It'd be great if you could. If you could spill your guts, maybe you wouldn't be alone in this nonsense myself I don't know. like I'm staying here don't worry about it but I'm, I'm very sometimes not always sometimes I get sad I don't know see and that's the thing I believe if you know everybody wants you to stay in Canada and get help and get healthy and live longer 
You wouldn't have been so vague about this. And now it's too late. It's too late. You would have been full transparency. Listen, guys, I'm here in Canada. I need to get this apartment. I need to get myself healthy. And if any of you want to support me um, to get into this apartment um, as an easier transition from Kuwait to Canada, you would have been transparent. Everybody would have known where their support was going. But the fact that you're doing this and then got defensive, which, by the way, um, all I was doing was baiting you to see if you would be fully transparent. For real. So, and I've done that many times on my channel. Um, you generally don't even hear me even mention my cash app unless it's going to someone or somewhere. The end. Uh, you just don't make a community post and drop the link, right? Uh, right after a cameo bag. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, come on. This is obvious, and I think it's because you want to go back to Kuwait. And I don't know if you can. I don't know if you got booted. I don't know if you thought it was going to be a long time before you got approved for a visa, and then you got approved for a visa. I don't know if it's your family's like... You told us you wanted to come here to get healthy and you're doing this to us again. We care about your health. And obviously all you care about is a man and all that man cares about is your money. Nobody should have that much control over you. Nobody. You let Nader have that control over you too. So why would this be any different? Oh. <laughs> I can't really let me know. I'm gonna have to figure out like how to make my life productive and Fulfilling here. So your life was productive and fulfilling in Kuwait. If laying around watching Netflix, eating whatever you want, and not having to be a grown up and pay bills is your idea of fulfillment, then you are more damaged than I could even imagine. This is really hard being in a long distance relationship, like really bad. It's not a facade. What makes you say that? Because it is a facade. It's a facade, all of it. We all see it. Like, seriously, like, I don't understand the grounds. It's real. I miss my family over there. Of course I do. I spent, like, an, a year and a half getting used to that. Yeah, you spent over 30 years in Canada with your real family. I know that's all she has to offer is money. She even says, I have nothing to offer him. And what, now you want people to give their hard-earned money to Salah? Are you kidding me? That's never going to happen. Never. You lost almost all the people that would have helped you through anything. Mm. But at the same time, I recognize, like, I need to be here right now. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Are you talking about Natter? Like you, 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 you and being impulsive again, where you, you can't stand being there knowing Natter lives in Canada. Like, why is your, why are you like so obsessed with these men? Why can't you be obsessed with your life going forward in a healthy way? I don't get this. <laughs> I can't breathe, man. Like, Why are you guys bringing up FFG? What are you guys? Are you like sack accounts for foodie beauty? Nobody's even talking about FFG over here. You sound just like foodie beauty. Oh, don't look in this hand. Go look in that hand instead. This woman is in crisis, okay? In crisis. Anxiety is always bad. I don't know what it is. There's a certain level of like... Like, things you don't have to worry about over there, you know? Yes, we're going to be always smile. What is so that? you don't have to worry about getting your own place, decorating it, making content um, on your only job you have, YouTube. Um, I don't get it. I really don't get this. This is not the foodie she used to be before the whole freaking natter thing. I don't get how you hold on to something and torture yourself. I don't get how you eat food that is torturing your body. I don't get this at all. Right? 
I don't get this at all. I don't get it. Man, um, we don't need to like revisit this whole life. This bee thing, what are we gonna do to bees? How old is Sam anyways? I can't ever leave here without Sam. Bing's Beezer, oh my gosh, hey. All right, let's go to the coffee bees. Um, Cause I haven't watched this. I know the audio on her end is kind of crackly, but I think we can make it through it. Uh, do I have any mods in here? I don't know. Do I? Probably not. It's Saturday morning. Nope. Wait. No. This is all to maintain a lion facade. It's easier to tell the truth than live like this. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't understand, like, um, you know, we now we're, I just feel like Salah is more demanding than she will let you think. She tried, oh, thank you, Grimes, for being here. Smoker giving advice to an overeater, Rich. Really? Am I? Am I a smoker? I've been accused of being a drunk. Oh, bipolar? A smoker? Really? Am I? Huh. Oh, okay. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> oh, is Bob hidden himself? Oh. Okay, Bob. Good to know. Demo flowers. Mimi's memories, hello. Thank you, HD. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Probably nobody will be awake right now. I don't even know what I'm doing awake right now, but. Oh, yeah, so of course it's Chantal. Chantal, you try so hard to compare yourself to others. You try so hard to drag people, which you suck at. You are the worst dragger in the world. Want to know why? Because first of all, everyone's opinion matters to you. Like everyone's opinion of you matters to you. That's your first, that's your first problem. Um, yeah, I do have some white teeth and non-leather skin for being such a smoker. Anywho, uh, so that stuff really, really, really gets to you, sweetheart. It really gets to you. And so you got to attack back instead of, and yeah, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> Let me get out my vape. <laughs> yes, I have a vape. There's my vape. Yes, I am. Yeah. Anyway, I love it. It's vanilla cupcake, by the way. Anywho, I'm just saying, if you could not like have self-doubt and you are pretty confident in who you were. These men would not be controlling you, st stealing your money. Yes, I call it stealing. I call it stealing. Sorry, not her stole your money, not her stealing Dee Dee's money, not her stealing probably grandma's money at this point. Uh, same mindset, same mindset. In fact, when you got over to Kuwait, Allah said he had to show you how to transfer money into Salah's account. That is horrible. Horrible. And I know that he's still doing it. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I use, the vape I use is called the um, Surian. Surian or whatever. It's a S right there. Hold on. It won't, it's not going to focus. It's S-U-O-R-I-N Air Pro. Hell yeah, I'd, <laughs> you go, I'd smoke bacon. Right, it doesn't matter. That shit don't shame people anymore. It really don't. Because it's even if people do smoke cigarettes today, this woke bullshit is stupid. It's stupid. Um, if you can afford it, do it. If you can afford it, do it. If you can afford it. Um, I don't even care what people do, but don't sit here 
and talk about you're a binge eater and then stuff your face in front of everybody, especially people who are trying to recover from it. Yeah, 99% of the world vapes now. <laughs> and you not only do you stuff your face in front of people, most people that smoke are not gonna smoke on YouTube in front of people. That's gonna trigger people. So your logic is bullshit. Absolute bullshit per usual. Old toothpaste mouth. <sighs> it's nostalgic. Toothpaste mouth. We know what that means. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah, foodies issues go way beyond just eating. You can only have one vice in life, sweetheart. You're either an alcoholic. Uh, you can't be an overeater, alcoholic, smoker, um, and what else? And drug addict. You can't do all that stuff. That's way too many. <laughs> Pick one. Pick one. Hi, Isla. Yeah, gummy mouth. And I noticed the air is drier because it's winter. So. Well, that's absolutely Chantal's stands or her herself. She has many sock accounts. Um, and she gets, she gets, uh, triggered so easy and the, and she's got the infamous, like, I can't imagine anyone that supports her coming in and saying, well, you do this. That's, that's Chantal all day long. Oh. The books are no joke. <laughs> <laughs> boobies. Hello. Yeah, it is annoying. Some people are night people boobies. Natalie, hello, Capone. Good morning, Melly. Kiki, Kiki. Go. Tangerine. Hey, Krista. You gonna be going to bed? Orange pulp. Hello, that's not playing. Hi, glowing girl. Good morning. Oh, good. that that audio is gonna be brutal, people, but we can do it. We're getting ready for bed. No, Canada is not drier than Kuwait. <laughs> Meteorologist Chantal here. Okay, so you're sitting in snow, which is moisture that is lifted up into the air. And when the air is cold enough, it freezes it into these beautiful little snowflakes, which are moist. The desert is dry. <laughs> so it sounds like you got a little nose problem, ma'am. God, you know when she explains stuff? in the most stupid way possible, then you know she's up to something. Winter's only drying to the skin because you're indoors in the dry heat. Now, uh, and you're not out in the vitamin D, right? So, and it can be the wind. The wind can cause, um, let's just say like a, a wind burn, right? To your cheeks and stuff. And you got to keep uh, whatever. It's peeling like little pieces of skin, like a sunburn does. But truth be known, if you had a humidifier in your house, your skin don't get dry in the winter. With Ron, come to Ohio. <laughs> and you're sitting in your car with the heat blowing on you. It's the heat, the furnace, the heat in your car. Good time. What does that mean, Ron? <laughs> Thank you, Ron. That's a nice offer. Hi, Sandra. There's a snowstorm going on. Like I'm curious to what she cut out of this. She's talking to an awful lot of people, but there's no chat. So she edited it. Didn't she fart at the end? Somebody said, is this the one where she farted at the end? Full-blown snowstorm, and I'm in the middle of it. I don't care. I need, co like, a good coffee, and I don't, you know. It's not the best, but whatever. I don't know. What did Ryan offer? Because the chat's gone. Hi, Sandra. Mimi. Team is Kuwait. Yeah, I do. I miss Salon, my pets, obviously. Forest Faye. Yes, Michelle. Let's have coffee. Hi, Lisa. So what? Relative humidity in Kuwait is around 20 to 25, and it's more like 0 to 10 in Canada because of winter. All right. I ain't looking that stuff up. I don't even care. It ain't that important to me. Lisa P. Marbles. My audio sucks. Really? YouTube lover? Okay, hold on. Let me try to fix the... Ah, YouTube lover. That must be H2O for life. The one's always telling me about myself. You must be in a worse situation than foodie. Or, or you love to watch somebody else 
in full destruction. Full destruction. I'll try to put my microphones on if it's... It's always crackling. Oh, you messed up anyway? Okay. <clears throat> Let the sky fall. No. Not that. Yeah, so I'm kind of depressed about that, but... Oh, stop with that bullshit. My God, can you imagine? You're 40 years old and you haven't even figured out how to be a grown-up. Where you get to just run around, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. Then go to a doctor. How could you live like this your whole life? You're singing one day and then you announce you're depressed the next. I don't think you are. I think you want Salah to think that. I think you really want to be in Canada. And I think he's making you feel guilty because he is so worried about you figuring out that you don't have control over your money. I'm sorry, something just ain't right with this. She did the same crap with Nader. Everyone would be telling her what he was doing and she would yell and block at her audience and kept giving him money. And then we all had to feel sorry for her in the end. This is BS. This manipulation is BS. I just want you to be in my headspace in the moment. Don't worry about what he's doing. I just want you to feel what I'm feeling. No, that ain't how grown-ups work. Who in their right mind looks to Chantel for advice? <laughs> Nobody. Googie, here's a carrot. Love you, panda bear. You know, what can I do about it? Yeah, and I'll tell you the one thing, us calling out the truth as we see it instead of your lies trying to become truth, screw that. We're not stupid. We've actually been living as adults. We've probably heard this from um, all of our kids when they were teenagers. So this is easy for us to identify. This is so easy for us to identify to the fact that, Chantal, and you can ask any reaction channel um, community, that support them, not come in and you're this, you're that. I want you to feel bad about yourself. I'm going to tell you something to hurt your feelings. Dude, you can't hurt Gen X's feelings if you wanted to. you got to be kidding me. We are feral as F. Feral as F. You have no idea. Speaking of which, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the new shirt. Gen X, raised on hose water and neglect. We were not coddled. We did not earn participation awards. Our feelings were get over it. That's what we heard. So guess what, Chantal? We got over it. And so you think strangers on the internet like you and your horrible ass dragging, you are the worst at dragging anybody. Oh, her voice, her voice. And then if anybody says anything, to drag your ass, you come in with the strikes. Whoa, 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 wham, 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 my feelings, my feelings. Well, the truth is, everybody, every community that reacts to you are of sound mind and have adulted. They have adulted their way to where they're at. You think you're gonna make it to almost 60, do you? Keep doing what you're doing. And I guess we can just lay bets down. Right? You got the odds of that are the odds of the Detroit Lions winning the Super Bowl, sweetheart. Like one in 10 million. Anywho, let alone making it to the Super Bowl. But anyway, I'm just saying, we can see what's going on just like what was going on with Nader. But you just don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it.
Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? There you go. <laughs> okay. I had to respond to somebody. That's all. Anyway, yes, we are feral. Nothing hurts our feelings, especially opinions of others. <laughs> I don't know. Keep trying, though. It's cute. To be, the bear, to be fair, the Lions have a better shot at winning the Super Bowl than Foodie turning 50. And Foodie turning 45. Yeah, we don't have, we really don't have feelings. Especially, yeah, yeah, I, I find, I do laugh. They try hard though, it's so cute. But boy, if you come back at them, listen, I found Jesus, okay? I found Jesus. There's no real hate. What it is is, Bringing the dark to light, Chantal. Bringing the dark to light. So maybe you can see it. Maybe you can see the darkness that surrounds you. I don't know. Anyway, good times. Good times, foodie. You know, like... <gasps> oh my God, take that thing off. I'm gonna freak out. Put monkey paw on it. Yeah, I took a picture of the snow actually. Don't miss Koi, you were so boring. Oh, sad pot, I mean blue pot. Blue pot's right. Nobody misses Kuwait. You were miserable. You know what, though? We cannot ask Foodie Beauty's mom to even deal with her bullshit anymore. Give the woman a break. She's been dealing with her and her, her just obnoxious manipulation, trying to create turmoil in the family, to, trying to be the, the, um, the child that stands, uh, you know, more important than anyone in the house. Let's give her mom a break, okay? Let her mom live the rest of her life free from having to have Chantal in her freaking head all the time. Can you tell people if they don't have sound to go out and come back in? Yeah, Chantal's grown. I don't care if she didn't raise her right or not. Okay, do you think Gen X kids were raised right? Do you think we were raised? How do you think we were raised? This is what happens when you coddle a child and tell them, oh, the kids are just bullies. They're just jealous of you. Please. Put a one in the chat if you can hear me because we're going to be playing this game for 10 minutes. Thank you. All right, so if anybody starts saying no sound, can you just tell them to go out and come back in? Thank you. All right, thank you guys. So we can get on with the show. Okay, so has Chantel ever said she's had, no. Chantel's never talked about NT, any, sorry, NT. <laughs> I sound like your mama. <laughs> Aunt no mama like the one I got. Anyway, um, she has never spoke of any mental diagnosis. All she's ever talked to us about is her obsession to food and her very scary uh, binge eating. That's it. That she proudly, proudly displays as content on YouTube, along with her drug use. Yep, the in-your-face drug use, the in-your-face binge eating. So if anybody else does anything in life, it, it's, it, it, it's only... A, becomes YouTube content if you're putting it in people's faces all the time. She never even got a diagnose, diagnosis for sciatica. Right. And that's probably weight related. Everything she goes through is weight related. And we know it. Uh, fatty. Can you imagine? Remember the guy did uh, supersize me with McDonald's, right? Right. And he had like his triglycerides and... Um, he had a liver, BUN, creatinine. He had all those tests done before he did the 30-day McDonald's. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? 30 days only. 
And it was amazing, the changes in um, his liver, kidneys, all that stuff because of that food. And you think if you really were going to get serious about your health, because you keep putting it ever in everybody's face on YouTube, and they follow along, they feel bad for you, they want to be encouraging, and they want you to see the complications of what you're doing to yourself. Now you just added a romance scammer on top of it who hates Christian women, and you're trying to tell people they're not allowed to say anything about it. Yeah, well, we will. But I'm just saying that we don't, People that um, choose not to trigger other people by displaying just horrible things on the YouTube, you just feel entitled. You don't care about your audience. You didn't care about your last audience. You know what I'm saying? You didn't care about your last audience. You have, you have flipped more audiences than Miss Effing Wonderful because you continue uh, to want people to feel sorry for you when you're not willing to do a damn thing to help yourself. So anyway, carry on. The fur goes on top of the mic, Capone, when you go out in the, in where there's wind. Anyway, I'm parked somewhere, but uh, I hope no one comes out. Yes, Foodie Beauty loves to trigger people. She'd rather have n negative attention than no attention. And so what she does is, if you tell the truth, even a little bit, she tries to shut you up on your channel, right? You know, they don't cut the tongue out of the mouth of a liar. Only those who speak the truth. They try to shut you down. Welcome to Woke America. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Yeah, that shit's about to end. Have you not noticed? People are desensitized. It's a joke now. An employee or something, and it's like, ma'am, you can't park in our employee micro in our employee parking lot. Then I'll have to move, or I'll say, okay, hire me then. <laughs> Let me. Okay, take the microphone off. Uh... Two days work for you. I wish it worked that way. They'd have to fill out a lot of paperwork just for you to work one day. <laughs> My God, we just actually heard that go down her trachea for real esophagus. Shani just went off because supposedly someone in the comments compared her to life by Jen claiming her weight loss has nothing to do with her health problems. Yeah, we don't listen to her either. She's one that likes to start fights. She likes to give false like even saying Jen, you know, died from cancer and then <coughs> turned around and didn't say anything about the cancer she's been trying to convince her audience that she's had for six years. I don't listen to Shani either. That is, um, she learned to manipulate young too. Put the furry muff on. Is the audio better or what? No. Might be the internet if there's a storm. Well, I don't know what kind of bra that is, but that one is the over the shoulder boulder holder if I've ever seen one. What? Is it really bad? Yes. Why is it crackling? I don't know. It, sometimes it's YouTube. Sometimes it's just the YouTube app. You may have to delete the app, re-upload it, um, and then restart your phone, and it'll be fine. Trust me. I've went through it. That might suck. It's terrible. Yes. Shit. There you That's go. Not good. <laughs> yes. Toss that in your purse. I don't know what to do. I wish I had my own place right now. Maybe I just won't go live until I get my own place because, like, I I don't know the quality, the internet, everything sucks. So if you say you're not even getting into your new place for another three weeks, then that means you're going to wait and go live until you get in your own place. Would that explain why she hasn't been live? Possibly. Oh, she's cursing. She's doing, she's doing the gummies, the whole nine yards. 
Don't even, don't buy in into any of her crap. Don't say, I thought she said, don't even, don't play the I thought she said game because that makes her it relevant and it makes everybody talk about it. And oh, look at all the people that talk about it. Yay. OMG. Okay. Any of you, do you think she's moving into her new apartment or, or do you think, I mean, I think it would have been cheaper for her to rent like, a short-term furnished place, but that's just my opinion. Like a studio, can you rent furnished ones in Canada, right? If she's not sure, was she gonna sign a lease? Give me a break. Can you imagine? Or do you think she is trying to get back to Kuwait? Now we gotta wait for her sound. Yeah, I'm wondering if she's even getting her own place or any of that because now she's like, here's my PayPal. Oh, should I start an Amazon wish list? And, you know, da da da. But she was not really even that keen on the Amazon wish list because we already know she spent a lot of money on food to eat out. And we know her insatiable appetite for THC is around 400 a week, which she could easily move into an apartment. Like, you can't hear me at all? Hi, Energy Egg. Hi, Leslie Cat. You think she's uh, putting out her on a train to, uh, to Gatineau, and she's meeting him in Gatineau while Dee Dee's at work? I mean, nobody knows. Nobody knows. People are just speculating. Um, she may be pretending like she's got to stay in Canada, but she's miserable um, because she doesn't want Salah to know. Uh, she may or may not be meeting with Pete and Natter. I don't know. The whole thing is ridiculous. I don't want to restart the stream. I think it'll be the same. I don't know. Yeah, I've tried iced cappuccino. Well, she was pretty happy that first day. She was singing and dancing in the rain, right? Then she's like, ooh, I better not look this happy. But why would you even care about, it? like, are you just continuing, like, you and Salah are, are continuing this, like, facade that made you no money, actually destroyed your channel after the Kybella thing, and you're going to keep that alive instead of building your channel and your money by going forward in Canada and living a better life? Like, which one do you think would make her money? It makes no sense. How about for you? Mm, weird, Bailey. Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not 100% sure yet about everything. About okay, everything. You're not sure about everything. I think she is obsessed emotionally with Salah. Like, like he's a possession like Nader was. Like she, it's a possession to her. It's like, she can't give things up. It's obvious. THC, food. She went over to Kuwait. She got clean out from the THC and craves it every day without it even being in her system to crave. She craves it every day. Like it becomes obsession, like possession. I can't live without it. I can't live without it. I can't live without it. That's the problem. But in the meantime, He's telling her whatever she wants to hear while he's talking to other women and taking her money. Well, Golden Girl, can you hear me okay? I believe you. I'm kidding. Hi, Fernanda. And I believe you guys too. I'm just kidding. Who did I miss here? Well, and that's the thing. When you've gotten a place where you got a guy a place, a, a car, new clothes. My God, he wore the same two shirts for the first I don't even know. For the first two weeks she was there and all of a sudden, you know, he's wearing a John Travolta jacket and all this weird shit. But anyway, like, he got probably an iWatch, um, AirPods. He got an iPhone, uh, the newest one. He got the alien whatever computer, alienware computer. Um, he, like, he has been enjoying the fruits of her money. Because you can't tell me he had it like that. You know what I'm saying? And I think the only reason he didn't fly Kybella over there to Kuwait 
because he became a little obsessed with her uh, because the texts were insane. And, um, and his verbal messages of what he wanted to do to her, the pixie center, that ain't a husband. That's a scammer. And then um, he, the only reason he didn't is because he had Chantal's money and she would probably ask where that money went. I don't know. I, I You know what? She is a typical 100% victim of scamming from two men. You can hear me fine? Oh, didn't give my pets away for a man. Did she not make a video that said, I gave my cats away for you? Uh, did she not? I got married and I moved across the world. So I was planning on living a life of like travel and everything. Do you see how she forgets the things she told us? Did she, in her mind, because her cats were her possession, she has to make it make sense to her. When she literally held up a picture <laughs> of the painted cats, she absolutely said that. I already went over why I couldn't bring them. Same reason I can't bring Julia. Part you couldn't have put Julia in a crate and brought her to Canada. Okay. The reason. Hi, Mike. There's a woman that has four pets and she moved overseas and took all four of her pets with her. Stop. Overseas, which means she flew for a long time. Yes, should... people like her and Shani uh, get mad when you don't follow their delusion or their grift. Leftovers? They get mad. Um... Hey, Paul Freed. She would have gave all that up for Nader, too. She would have, to move in that cabin in the woods. I can't scoop my glasses down. Ow! There's a... Why did you let Salah buy... I can't. I can't. You want to be taken care of like a freaking toddler. Just as long as I get my takeout food, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. Oh, my gosh. There's a bone here, you know. No, those are not bones. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Unless they're implanted. <laughs> like some of them crazy people in Hollywood. <laughs> it's just called face fat. Karma said, hold my beer. Salam at Chantal. Now you two see who is the best at scamming. Game on. Right on. Listen, Salah figured it out. Being controlling and... I don't know, aggressive like he was with Kai Bella, talking about how he was going to grape her. Wow, that's consensual as hell. Anyway, um, he figured out how to get to Foodie to get what he wants. And it's so freaking obvious. But she's going to try to convince us it's not, just like she did with Nader. No, guys, those are just, you know, we like to have rough you-know-what. That's why I have bruises on my arms, and I bruise easy. I'm on blood thinner, so I bruise easy. Remember all that? Then when it was over and he picked Dee Dee, he was an abuser. He punched me, beat me up, slapped me all the time, right? So you got to believe whatever she wants you to believe. Okay, it's your story. So anyways, um... Yeah, but Julia, I'm still going to get her. I'm going to be able to see her again. You know, I know that. And uh, Sam, I'll have Sam as well. So. Yeah, it's obvious. Like, Shani with Rev, right? Shani is insecure as hell. She is so afraid that Rev's going to leave her. Chantel's the same way. She is insecure as hell, even though she tries to act like she's not. Right? So, trust me. Oh, my God. So look what Shani does with Rev, right? She controls him. She's overbearing. Um, we know we know how Rev really feels. Every time Rev gets mad, he tells you how he really feels. That she's a couch sitting, taking advantage of everybody. mf -er, right? Rev, come on now. And then he giggles, you know. And then we got Salah, who's taking all these body angles, uh, video of Chantal, and laughing. 
He told her she was the moon. He told Kybella, hey, at least I can pick you up, right? All the things. Did you see him run over when Chantal fell down those stairs in Kuwait? No, he filmed it. I didn't see him abruptly shut off the camera and go over there or drop the camera and go over there. No, 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 no. He filmed all of it. Gemma Luna. Welcome to your Bermuda recipes. <laughs> when people have to move, it's not an easy decision what to do with your pets, you know? have to move, when people have to move, when people have to move, it's not an easy decision what to do with your pets. Huh, is that true? Is this what we're gonna go with now? Have to move? <laughs> okay, uh, last time I checked, you quit feeding them. Right before you, right after you made the decision to move. Do you really want to go back into this? I don't think you should. I really don't think you should drag this back up. I really, really, really don't. And did you have to move to Canada? Why'd you leave Julia? Did you have to move to Canada? Then why are you whining? I stayed home like near the end a lot. I stayed home a lot in Kuwait, but to be fair, we I also did a lot of content on the couple's channel. You were there for almost a year and a half. How many videos are on the couple's channel that were made? Now listen, you got to talk about four parters that were all made in one day. In my opinion, you have been out every day, except yesterday since you got to Canada. In Kuwait, we can add up all the videos all the videos and they don't even add up to a month worth of content after almost two years or we did things but that hasn't been in a while that's too bad no he is not coming back the end hi c roller hopefully i can get my you know yeah, I know the sound is not really that good. Sorry, guys. Yeah, if she had a residency, she wouldn't have had to leave Kuwait. If she had a residency, she could have got her own car and drove around Kuwait and did content. Uh, if she was a resident, she would be able to have a legal marriage. If she was a resident, she would be able to come back to Canada, set up house, and apply for her husband to come join her. These are all... Eh, eh, eh because she doesn't have a career, so she can't get a work permit, which means she can't get a residency. So she is visa hopping. And I have a feeling either they told her they were not gonna renew her visa right away, and it could be six months out because Kuwait is kicking people out right now. I don't know why I don't, I didn't read what was going on. I do know everything's very active. You know, we're, we're under, the United States is under a high alert right now. Um, straight from Homeland Security, not from YouTube, conspiracy theories, and straight from CNN. There's that. But I'm just saying, she may have been booted out. And they're not going to let her back for a while. Who knows? Yeah. Christina, hello. So, I know I can't wait to see Sam either. I'm still trying to figure this bra out. It makes no sense to me. It just makes no sense to me. It is almost like she put uh, a pillow under her shirt. Her mother got her a one-way ticket on purpose, hoping Chantal wouldn't go back. Here's my thought on that, Anna Gags. This is the only thing that makes sense. She went over to Germany, right? Because, let, okay, let's, you know what? Let's look at something real quick. I'm going to figure out. Hold on. They're cheap. It's a cheap flight. 132 KWDs to go from Kuwait to Germany. I feel like, and it's a short flight, right? How many hours? Um, it's six hour flight. And do they have THC? <laughs> Where do you land in Germany? Let me see. Where do you land in Germany? We always got to figure this out. 
Munich, Frankfurt, or Berlin? Did she go to Frankfurt? I'm thinking Frankfurt, right? That sounds about right. Frankfurt, okay. So, is, oh, wait a minute. Is uh, THC legal there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they all medical? Illegal to buy and possess weed, so it's not about for Can I buy marijuana in Germany? I don't want to go to the Quora. It's a whole thing. I guess there's a tolerance there, but it's not like like a recreational. We know it is in Amsterdam. We do know that. Anyway, so my thought is she went over to Germany, right? Um, and just did a border hop. In my opinion, I'm just thinking out loud instead of going to Doha because they had to buy... I don't know. I don't, I don't even know why she wouldn't have went to Doha. Did they, go, or did they go over to Germany together? I don't even know. Or did, did she have a tantrum and her mom bought her a one-way ticket home? And of course it's a one-way because she left without applying for a visa, right? She probably Googled, where can I buy weed in Frankfurt? Possibly. We don't even know how many days she would have been there anyway because she was on a seven-day ban from YouTube. So... Did she get over to Germany and found out that she was denied, um, like maybe her visa, her visitor visa was gonna be pushed out like six months or more. So she panicked and called her mom and her mom flew her home to Canada from Germany. We will never know, she will never tell you, ever. But the cool thing is you can kind of watch by her emotions that she's either there because she wants to be there or she is forced to be in Canada. You know, and have a place to like... She was only in Germany for two hours. But how do we know that? That was just... Wait. Did she do... Yeah, but just because she did a video of Kuwait to Germany, all you gotta do, stop the video, she wasn't live, and then when you went back to the airport to go Air Canada, could have been days later. We don't know. We don't know. I really am overcomplicating things. You're right, Pickle. Let's just watch. Do content and stuff like that. But today it's like really bad snowstorm. So, yeah. I guess the reason I'm overcomplicating it is because it would be super simple. I came back to Canada to get a place and stay here and get my health under control. But then she jumps in the car straight from the airport, goes through three, well, she admit she went through three, she went Hubert, Harvey's, Hubert's, and then Hubert's again for dinner. Three takeout in one day. So that doesn't say health. She's only in Canada because she's forced. Exactly. And if she was married with a real residency, she never has to leave. You know? Especially after telling us that there's no way she could travel right now because she was so unhealthy. She said that in Kuwait. Next thing we know, she's in Canada. If you really want to win sub, yeah, sure, it's up to you. I want to see Sam <laughs> Um No, I didn't see that desert rose. Someone at Alex's show chat said last week they saw you in public with Salah and you kept taking breaks and he stayed a couple of feet behind you in public. Yeah, somebody's watching her in Kuwait and they're saying they've seen them in public 
And Salah was way behind her while she was walking. Like he didn't want to be seen with her or something. Wouldn't have to border hop if she was married to Salah. Exactly. Now, did her mom fly her home for her birthday uh, for cutie turning 40? Maybe, but why wouldn't her mom get her a return flight? Why would it just be one way? See, that don't make sense, right? And Foodie went there before, like, this is the week that she would have had to have left, not last week or the week before. Um, okay, I don't know. I mean... He walks fast sometimes. And no, they said he was behind you. And for me, yeah, I take breaks. Depends where we go and what, how I'm feeling, but yeah. How is that like a secret? How is that tea? Like, hey, that's your Beezers, not us. We could care less. Is that when you get entertained by Blue Pot? Oh, you, you have to take breaks when you're walking, so what? It's no secret that I'm fat. And I have health issues. Yeah. And that's why we're in Canada, right? Why are we drinking sugary coffee drinks and, and grease and, and all this food that can put you in the hospital? You keep eating like that, you're going to end up on insulin. Insulin. And trust me, when I, you get on insulin, there's no going back to your little pills. Insulin is for life. Ooh. Oh, frightening. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe from the snow. Uh, ouch. <laughs> My gosh. Sorry. I don't think Salah's family or Foodie Beauty's family likes this setup at all. <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. I have to put it in rice? I don't know. No, stupid. It's a speaker problem. You don't have to put it in rice. It didn't fall in the lake. Oh, my God. I can't with these people. Oh. <sighs> Maybe it's the person that I saw at the mall with their mother. I don't know. There was, like, a girl who came up to me. Remember I said in my thing? Yeah, and I'm probably you wouldn't be on Kuwait's radar if you wouldn't have acted like such an ass over in Kuwait. But I was walking when I saw her, so that doesn't make sense. Yeah, and that's the thing. If your goal was to find yourself a home, you wouldn't be spending all this money on THC and food. She is just not even grown. Like, the reason she wants to go back to Salah is so she has no responsibility. I'm pretty sure her mom's not thrilled with her staying there with no responsibility. I don't know. Absolutely, Salah's family knows about her. Absolutely. He, uh, Mr. A even said his dad is not happy with this. Really? He doesn't approve of this. What a dumb thing to say. <laughs> I know. Yeah, snow angel bees now. Well, it sounds like water damage. Shit. What if I damaged my phone? That I'm screwed for life. <laughs> you guys are annoying me right now. I don't know what to do about it. You're stressing me out. Oh, where's the speaker? Oh, that's good. Blow in it, you blow hard. Oh, my God. That was funny, though. This is professional. This is what 100... This is why 101,000 subscribers subscribe to this professional YouTuber. Speaker, anyways. Can you with this? And how the... Fuck, do you get stains on the ceiling of your car? That's like she wiped her nut salsa hands off there. Oh. Now, I'm gonna mute. now she's going to mute. Foodie, I can't with you. Can you imagine an airbag going off in that little fucking Coke can she sits in? Hundred and one thousand subs. She's sitting in a busted up Kia, a busted up Kia. Girl, I'd have went home. I would have canceled that bank account, got a new a bank account number, a new bank account at that bank, or went to a whole nother bank. I'd have withdrew all my money and said, "I gotta live for me. I have got 
to get my head right, my health right, and I have got to get these men out of my head so I don't fail and see the final curtain, right? I would have took that money out. I would have started a new bank account. I'd have drove that Kia, you know, I'd have pushed it off a cliff or I would have sold it to somebody pretty cheap, went and put a down payment on a better vehicle, right? One that would not be dangerous to be driving in the dead of winter in Canada. I mean, to get something with four wheel drive, right? And roomy, roomy, <laughs> oh my gosh. I would have went and made, that would have been my celebration for making it, right? On YouTube, because it's been her goal. But she broke and PayPal me, Cameo me. What is that? God, now any of you out there doubting, doubt, or thinking people are getting rich on YouTube, look at this. Look at this right here. This is your 101,000 subscriber paychecks. Busted up Kia. I mean, I blew into it like it's an old Nintendo and that's the only thing I can do. Well, you got the dust out of it, so it's not crackling. Yay. <sighs> yeah, she gets Salon new vehicle and she's still driving this thing and sinking money into it. And it doesn't even fit her. She's five foot, but when she sits down, she's six foot. Her head's damn scraping on the roof. <laughs> Laying down five foot, sitting six foot. You know, these people don't have the nerve to walk up to you. Yeah, well, somebody did. <laughs> Wait, a young girl. I yeah, I'm know. surprised the plaque's not like sitting here in the back window. That would be so funny. I bet she didn't bring the everyday Miriam plaque. She waiting there for YouTube to send her the foodie beauty plaque. I would turn the I would totally turn the money tap off Salah. If he's he pays his own bills, guys. Yeah, prove it. Prove it. Cut off the money from him so you can live in Canada and see how long he talks to you. So there's that. <laughs> T minus one hour. <sighs> Hey, mistress, I was cleaning off my car of like a million freaking inches of snow. And then I came in and shook all the snow off. And there's the crackling. Of myself and some of it probably got on the phone. And that ain't how it works, but cute. No, it's just the YouTube app. Just delete it, reinstall it, turn your phone off, turn your phone back on. Problem solved. That airbag would shove that whatever that bra is. I don't know, that bra looks like it's made of memory foam. I gotta be honest. I mean, it's got its own shape. Like, even the chest is underneath it. Like, for real. I don't even know what this is, but I need, I need names, I need names. Anyway, that air bay would shove her ribs right into her lungs. I mean, for real, you need something that accommodates your size. You need to drive around. You need to drive around like a, a um, one of the top YouTubers. One of the top YouTubers should be driving around in like a brand new Jeep. You know what I'm saying? Okay, a couple of years old even, right? Because I'm a Jeep lover. Anyway, you should be driving around in like a renegade, four-wheel drive, right? Or you should get yourself a nice little, or nice big Sierra, GMC Sierra, right? You need to be wearing the plaque and driving the plaque. Hey, kicking it. That's true. She don't even use a seatbelt, so she's totally going to rely on that. And she she could rock it right over. The weight, okay, 250 pounds of pressure of an airbag against 500 pounds of flesh. I, th I have a feeling your body would just pop the airbag and you'd go out the windshield like a rocket. That's what I'm thinking. More like a, I don't know, bean bag. Yeah. Yeah, I have to put my, my phone in rice now. No, you don't. You're Quit taking advice from these dupe coughs. What the hell? I'm <laughs> Jamie. It's not that bad. Okay, good. Rosemary! Hi, Beezer. Beaver Beezer. It's weird to have people recognize me in public. Yeah, it is, actually. Especially in Kuwait. That lets you know... you. Ma'am, you have pissed people off in Kuwait, the Muslim community. 
Oh my gosh. I mean, it's like not weird, weird, but. It should be really weird. I don't mind. I mean, if people are nice, whatever. One guy said he wanted to spit on your face, so I don't know about that. And the camel did. The camel did. The camel's like, get away from me. People are always nice to your face. That's what they do behind your back. Hi, Gemma. Well, then be grateful and thank us. We do it right to your face. Yeah, Blue Pot's just a veteran troll. Yeah, the Nintendo Blow. Put your phone in chicken match boots. <laughs> it's not that bad. I can hear you. Thank you. So this is a double double. Double double sugar drink. Good, good, good. I see things are going well. I want what I want and I don't care about the diabetes. And, uh... Yeah, she'd eat the rice. She did around the phone. <laughs> you're not saying, oh, and by the way, you're not supposed to cook the rice when you put it in there. Gosh, right now. <laughs> I'm just joking. Every time she says she's joking, she's not. What did she say? I feel so white trash right now. <laughs> you feel white trash? Why? Because you're like in the, 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 the top 10% of YouTubers and you're sitting in a busted out Kia? Because you have no home? All right. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys have to take a joke. I know, Deborah, but she says she's not e-bagging. But people told her to do a Amazon wish list for the furnishing of her apartment, which would make sense because you see, you get to pick out where the things, that you're buying the things, you get to pick them out and then they get delivered to her new apartment. I could totally see that. I get it, even though she gave everything away after everybody told her to put it in storage just in case it didn't work. Of course, she's smarter than everyone else. And now here she is, at ground zero, right? With nothing, she has nothing. No home, not a fork, nothing. So when you just go out and e-bag and everybody knows you have a food addiction and a THC addiction, right? I'm sorry, it's a little sus. And you're pretending like you're still, you're going to have a long distance relationship with Salah, who may be over you, who knows? And Nader's sitting there in the bushes. Now, would we put it past her to show Nader she could still give him money and get him back in her life? I wouldn't put anything past her at this point. You just got a Tim's head? No way. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Horton. Nader could have even said, I would take you back, but your channel. Ain't not so good no more. Who knows? <laughs> that's just, that's like why people, you know, laugh when Shani and Rev put out their freaking, you know, um, PayPal's and cash apps. Because we know he's going to run down the street and get them drugs. We know that. We've seen them out of their mind. Uh, we see them smoking whatever in the living room of the house. And that's why people don't give money because of their addiction. It's too warm. Hi, Teardrop. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, too cream, too sugar, not too milk. But it has to be cream and coffee. So not today. When you, not, not when you have diabetes. Way too much yesterday. She so, ate way too much. Today, I'm going to try to just eat nor like a normal human, okay? So, I want to write something. You can't even adjust your hand. <laughs> I can't with my other fist. Um, I know, okay, KM. Tall, so that'd be my, yeah, I'm freaking short. Yeah, and I mean, people would, I mean, her people, us people over here, who there was absolutely no reason for her to just throw away everything she got, just like Rev and Shani did. They just left it all behind because they didn't want to deal with it. So they made the apartment complex deal with their shit. She was going to give it away. She was going to have a sale. She did none of the above, which is the same thing Shani and Rev did. So then the cleanup was like five grand. She left that bill to Pete. 
And then she comes back and poor me, I need an apartment and I need everything to fill it, right? And people were like, well, why didn't you put it in storage? Like we told you to. You spent thousands on that stuff. Same with Shani and Rev. I don't think she's getting an apartment either, to be honest with you. But if she would have said, here's my apartment, I put out an Amazon wish list, nobody would be against that. People would send you shit, your Beezers would, we wouldn't, right? No. She's getting paid in 16 days. How much of it goes to Salah? How much of it goes to Salah? That ain't your apartment. That ain't your car. Those are his. Supposedly, you started a new life. Not right now, Bailey. I don't get recognized. Maybe. I don't know. So, I ate way too much. Oh, my gosh. It shows. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I had those three meat patties, right? Chicken patties. Yeah, French fries, gravy. You drank the gravy for old time's sake. Then I had Harvey's. Told you. Um, again. Again. Deep fried pickles this time. Yep. She ate Harvey's. Okay, so she ate Harvey's, Hubert, and Harvey's again. With, <laughs> with ranch pork all over them. There's like 60 bucks she could have saved. Just had a salad at Mom's. Um, then I had spaghetti and meatballs, like, later. Oh, my God. Spaghetti and meatballs? Oh, my God. I'm sure it was all halal. So, all this to say, today I'm going to try to eat normal. You know, like, structured and more normal. But right now, I'm just having liquids right now. They're just having liquids right now, full of sugar and cream. <sighs> um, Can you even imagine a dietitian having to give her a diabetic diet? Uh, no. Or she would, she would change it up to where it literally didn't even fall into a diabetic diet category. Yeah. She is not home for a health arc, people. You're right, Christy girl. Deep fried pickles. Oh, you like them? So here comes the Beezers. They do this every time. Troll the shit out of her. Start bringing up food. I love fried... That was Capone. Good one, Capone. I see him over there. I love fried pickles. And then somebody goes, finally, deep fried pickles. See, this is her Beezer chat. They start talking about food. They start talking about food, so she gets a craving. They're so good. <laughs> yeah, she came home in December for a health arc, remember? Because Salah wasn't giving her enough, enough love or attention, right? Remember, a little tantrum, and she needed her THC. And then he started uh, talking to another woman and uh, sending pickle pics, his pickle pick his ugly ass feet, right? And then she got busted out on the internet that he was really not into her. And she went home as fast as she could to Kuwait. Now he'll love me because he only has me now. The internet knows he's terrible. He's a slime ball. So now he has to love me. He's isolated. The public don't like him anymore. He's all mine, I say. And that didn't work out. So here we are back in Canada. One side of your face looks very swollen. Um, yeah, I have left side swollen face disorder. Uh-huh. You also have hamburger bun patty eyes. Hamburger bun eyes. Yeah. Which is a telltale sign that she just chewed a gummy not too long ago. It's a new day. Just don't eat as much. Yeah. That's the funny part. This is called divine intervention because this does happen to her every time she takes gummies and we all know when she's high it's wonderful it's just wonderful she can't even hide it remember she started out with yeah i've got toothpaste mouth we know what the we know what toothpaste mouth means cotton mouth that's why you're sipping on drinks the whole time you're in this car uh, hi mama bear well, pickles are the devil's loins yeah See, it's, I always have boogers now because I'm a kid. Because of the moist air. You get it now? 
In the desert, you have a dry nose because it's the desert. You're out there while it's snowing. Moisture's coming down. The inside of your car, you just drew on it because it's full of moisture. And that's why your no nose is boogery. Or you're using your own weight loss plan again. Canada, and the air's dry. Which only leads to one gangly gargoyle in Lachine. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going back to Kuwait. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Which is why I think she wants cash apps and PayPal's, but I still don't know if she's even been uh, c cleared to even go back. Who even knows why she keeps doing this stupid shit? <laughs> I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here now because I don't want to travel. You physically can't. I literally don't know if I could ever make that trip for a long time, a few months. And also because I just... You said, I'm home. I'm in Canada for good. I'm home for good. I'm getting an apartment. I am going to live my life. What? It, why are you so weird? I can't keep changing my mind. Like, oh my gosh. Like, what kind of freaking manic? Honestly. Boom. How about we just start with therapy? I've done this traveling so many times. I've changed my mind so many times. Last time I came down here, I was supposed to do exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah, but you don't care about yourself. You don't even put yourself first. How can you be good for anyone else if you can't even take care of yourself first? You're going to keep attracting men that abuse you mentally, physically, verbally, and financially. You are literally have nothing anymore. Everything's been taken from you. And you're not in a place you don't understand. You've lived in Canada your whole life. Oh my God. Yeah, he's not coming in half her live streams. And sometimes I think that person behind that wrench is somebody else and it's not even him. But no. And now... I have a pain in my heart because I miss my husband. I oh my God. You still miss Natter. That's how fucked up this is. I feel really alone. You literally ended up in Dee Dee's bed. Oh my gosh. Whew. These men have complete control over her psyche. Even if I have people around me, I'm going to feel alone because I'm alone for a certain type of like attention. Because she don't, there it is. She just told you straight up. So he's not giving her attention even in her live streams. And she's got to go home and see what's going on. Just like the last time. Yeah, absolutely. I think she has fake characters in her chat. And love. And I miss Julia's bad breath. But you don't miss Sam. Okay. So the cat you had for six years, you missed the one you've had for less than, uh, or for a year more. See, this don't make sense. You just make shit up. You don't, you don't have that kind of connection at all with animals. And everybody knows it. <coughs> Except for they're just your fill-in llama pillow. Well, it comes them. Don't you wish you could just be honest and say, here's what happened. What would you guys do? Here's what happened. Um, I'm really struggling with the fact that Salah doesn't want to be on YouTube anymore. He doesn't want to do content together anymore. He's barely in the chats anymore uh, because he's a big baby. Or it's going to give him up when he's out there grifting other women for money. Like, trying to get a ride to Canada. Anyway, like, who cares about Salah? Who cares about Nader? They're both the same in one, if you ask me. 
They both take advantage of women. Because if he was your real husband, he would care about your health. He would take care of you financially. You wouldn't be on here. Here's my PayPal. Here's my cash app. Here's my cameo. You wouldn't be doing any of that. You wouldn't even need it. It wouldn't even be a thought in your head. He would be taking care of everything if he cared about you. Like his actions speak everything. He literally sent a nude picture of himself to a strange woman. And he's your husband? Are you kidding me? You're still trying to sell this story? I, it's your idea of a love story that is literally sunk like the Titanic now. Could you get on with taking care of yourself, please? Yeah, I'm beginning to win. I'm beginning to wonder who's con and who at this point. Adornal flowers. I miss Julia. Me too. Well, you should have put Julia in a crate. This is like I miss my CPAP. You guys think I should go over and get my CPAP? And you just want it inside Natter's house. You didn't care about that CPAP. You're making 20 grand a month. You could have just ordered a new one. Because the one you got is probably full of bacteria anyway and mold. You don't sanitize it or sterilize it. And you keep breathing in that shit. Anyway... You were making 20 grand a month. It went for the CPAP. It was to get inside his house, see what was going on with Dee Dee. You had to call. Listen, come on. You're doing the same thing and you're using Julia as the reason you have to get back to Quake. Then why did you leave Mrs. L. Rafe? This is bullshit. B.S. You want to know what he's doing. Anyway. Yeah. Yes, you know, Miss BBJ, Jules, I call her Jules, because she is. She's no BBJ, she's Jules. Anyway, and Sam, she gets a chance to have Sam back? The cat she got six, seven years ago? Get out of here. Look after my health, yeah. Yeah, and she drinks a double cream sugar coffee. And you know Salah went to the damn pharmacy and got her uh, blue light blocker um, readers because he ain't going to let her spend the money on prescription glasses or she'd have got them when she was in Canada. I don't even think she got her eyes checked, if you want me to be honest. I'm all fired up. Let me fire the goat. Okay, everybody. Rain it in. I just... The lying, and then it all gets exposed, and then she still gaslights the shit out of you because she's trying to sell a delusion, which is a delusion in her mind that she don't want any of us to interrupt. Don't you dare interrupt my delusion. Don't you dare. Who uses diabetic medication uh, to eat more and worse? That's insanity. And bees at all hours. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that is her middle name, yes. Chantal Gaslighter Sorrell. Uh, uh, I've been following now. Know what's going on. Constellation, I need the tea. I can't even imagine what Salah lies to her and spends her money on. I can't even imagine. Setting himself up? Has he been banking money? I don't know why she's using her baby voice again. Nobody knows! Yeah, her teeth are fine. I mean, you know, cat breath smells like fish or something, like what they eat. Oh, she ain't getting the cat's teeth checked. When are you Beezers going to give up on that shit? She didn't get her vaccinated. She didn't get her fixed. And she goes and gets her toenails trimmed, which she could do at home just for a show on the internet. Content. Just like when she sits and reads the Quran for content. Content. Please, Beezers. She's never going to get her teeth checked. Trust that. He likes chaos. Let alone brush her. Lavender coffee. Oh, 
Yeah, ask them if they can make it low calorie. Lavender and coffee, I wonder. Lavender lemonade is good. And if you don't believe for a minute that she couldn't have um, got a diabetic nutrition or a nutrition to give her a diabetic diet or even Googled one and fucking printed it off the internet or just saved it on her phone as a screenshot of what's, what you can eat as, as far as like pastas and breads and rice and potatoes and, and all that shit, right? She could have printed that off. She could have walked out the door every day and she could have walked along the beach. And in the summer, she could have stayed indoors with a treadmill and walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and, walked and dropped those pounds. And um, Glitters and Lasers works out right inside her apartment. You get exercise bands, you get a treadmill, you work out. You even can watch people do a full treadmill workout. You can do wall Pilates. Uh, she don't care about her health. The end, she didn't need Canada for that. She needed Canada for THC. The end. <clears throat> you can FaceTime Salah. Yeah. We don't even know if Salah paid off the Kia. Maybe whoever over in Canada was using it paid it off for her so they could use it. Nobody knows. Nobody said Salah paid that off, please. Not the same. I think he uses her money to buy groceries for his damn family too, if you ask me. I also miss like the the call to prayer. Like it feels different. Um, you can put the alarms on your phone and still pray. Since in Canada, we're just a Canadian now. What is this nonsense? Here. You didn't even pray there. Stop. You didn't even go to mosque. It takes some getting used to again. Could someone come with a megaphone out front of my window and do the call to prayer? <laughs> you can get yourself sorted and go back with a new outlook. Yeah, we'll see, I guess, eh, Lynn? Hi, net girl. So you have no plans on having a new outlook or doing anything to better yourself. Okay. Yeah, I caught that. Yeah, we'll see. My cat's breath smells like cat food. I know. I look like Amy Ramadan. Yeah, well, we did dress You're up. You're about as messed up as her, too. I remember when she was... that. How old was that, baby? One and a half, two? And she forgot to mute and whipped that baby? Because she wanted to make a video and the baby was crying in another room. Yeah. Bye, Amy. Your true colors came out. A similar. Yes, I know. And I always used to think, like, because I wasn't a hijabi then, and I always used to go, why is she always fussing with her teacher? Yeah, you're probably right. She probably told the aunt that she was going to get a residency and she wasn't going to be coming back. And if the aunt wanted the car, she would need to pay it off. You never know. Yeah, and Smee co-signed for the original loan. So Smee might have paid it off. Boy, Smee's still going through her money, right? Fixing all your life's problems. Yay, Smee. Job. And now I, I would cut her off. And so maybe she has... Which is why she needs the YouTube community to send her enough money to go back to Kuwait so she can keep an eye on Salah. I say don't do it. Force her to get healthy. Oh, I know. Or don't. Go back. It'll be the final curtain. Oh, because when you have a fat face, this thing just like, okay, let's just let it go. Who cares? It's annoying though. <laughs> then take it off. Oh my God, it's so annoying. Then, see how it shapes your face? Then take it off. <laughs> she looks like that puppet, Mademoiselle. I look like Modine. <sighs> That's true. Parents that enable um, their grown 40 year old child to still act like a toddler, you're right. They deserve to go through all their money. Just like. Uh, uh, Salah and Nader um, filtering all her money away. Nobody's gonna, nobody, everybody sees what's going on, Chantal. Nobody even feels bad. I would rather give my money to an animal shelter. Sorry. 
<laughs> like, right? It, yeah, here you go. Um, I'm gonna like donate this money uh, under the name BBJ. Hey, buddy. Thomas the Tank un Engine. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> Your wisdom teeth are wrong. <laughs> Come on. Fix your problems. Yes, fix your problems. Look at her face. Does that look like someone who's excited to fix their problems? Or who wants to run from their problems? Once again, including Natter. That's one of her problems. <laughs> Does anybody know if Natter's back in court or if he got it postponed or if he got it dismissed? Did she think that maybe he was done with court and that's why she came back and then found out he's not? And now she's freaking out, wants to run, right? I don't know with her. I have no clue. Because you know he'll subpoena her ass. Or maybe she has been subpoenaed and she's stuck there. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. Shaped like a screen mask, yeah. Can you imagine if the crown... Um, served her with a summons for a future court date and she can't leave. Did we just maybe open another box of possibility? His breath smells like... Yeah, because I don't think it works the same as it does in the United States, right? United States, they will tell you, you know, you got to be back for court, but the Crown might know that she's a... Um, a possibility of a runner. <laughs> so she would, you know, maybe she got served. This would be great. She continues for all of us. And Nicole sharing is caring. She might have even got an email summons, right? Who knows? Thank you, Anna. Yeah, I would get you guys. Or it came to her mom's house. So her mom had to fly her home. One way ticket. Because, you know, her passport would be denied if she tried to leave. If she's summons to court, they will not let her leave. They, her passport will be like, have a block on it. Yes, maybe that's where we're at. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if she has to face him in court? Boom. Nice coffee. It's a fraction of the price of freaking Starbucks. Hey, Jenny. You must tell him that. Yeah. Don't make me miss Kuwait, because I'll go back. <laughs> maybe that maybe that's why she's acting like she has a choice. So people don't know. And she's freaking out. Oh my god, this could be amazing. I haven't heard anything, Jennifer. All right, Angel of Glass, tell him, stay strong. T tell your husband, stay strong. And whoop ass if he has to. When he put a deposit on, him, on a place I'm eating, today. I'm eating a cracker. So once I do that, it's fine. Well, I mean, you can do the back, but... My mind changes every hour. Because you're nutty as a squirrel. <laughs> Let yourself adjust. <laughs> I mean, I got to be honest, Chantal. There's only two actuals in life. Death and taxes. Need I say more? Need I say more? Two absolutes in life, death and taxes. Mm-hmm. Need I say more? Thanks, Ron. You think it'll be okay here? Oh, is it? He goes, uh, he's on night shift. Starts at 11.30, finished at 7 a.m. So is it, a, is it nighttime where you're at, Cozy J? Weren't you the one that said? Oh, yours off to the hospital, Cozy J. Okay, you're right. It was Angel of Glass, right. 
They'll both catch up with you in the end. And that's my point. Death and taxes. Where are we at? Where are we at? That should be the only thing on your mind. You got to stand for something, Chantal, or you'll fall for anything. And we've been watching you fall for anything for over two years. Two, three years now. Falling for everything. These guys, as soon as they seen you making money on YouTube, they didn't come in like trolls. We're talking about Nader and Salah. They didn't come in like trolls and pocket watch you. No, they came in real life and took your money. There's a reality slap. <laughs> but I'm okay with that if you fake love me. Just tell me you love me and do YouTube with me. What a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> You're drunk, yeah. Hello. Who feels like Teardrop <laughs> is worse than Missy Moo? Yeah, I mean, I have a, a bit, I mean. I know, Ashley. Um, we covered that to begin with, and I put up a community post about, you know, we know, like, listen, we know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. Uh, you're giving your money away and you're begging for money so you can do THC and, and take out food. Because I believe Salah controls your money. The end. Because you've never acted like this in your life. Ever. You never became that person. And we know Salah was like, Kybella, how much do you make? Are you broke? We already know that. Like, it's, we know what you're doing and we know what he's doing. And then you pretend like, oh, girl, stop. Stop while you're behind. Record of rental anyways. I don't know. So you can't get approved on your own. You would have known. So if you're getting an apartment and you put down a deposit, you're trying to tell us that you can get an apartment in your own name because you have a good rental record. Okay, shall we go back? Shall we go back? You lived with BB for seven years. Your name was not on the lease. Or, I don't even know how they do it in Canada. And then Pete's got the last place for three years. So for 10 years, you haven't put anything in your name. Your mom even, stop. Can you imagine if Smee co-signs or gets a lease in her name and then she bolts? Oh my God. And what she did, they did to the villa. <gasps> perfect, but. It's non-existent, not perfect. No, see him. Trapped in the house, sweating and feeling depressed. Go do it, could go do it right now. <laughs> yeah. What's your job history, YouTube? That's embarrassing. I couldn't even imagine going and applying for a loan or a, a place and uh, what's your income? I'm a YouTube celebrity. Are you though? Let's see your bank statements. Why is all your money getting, why is all your money getting transferred to Kuwait? Are you being love scammed? No, I have a husband and a cat and a hamster. They're like, you know what? You don't seem competent enough <laughs> to lease anything. <laughs> you have a what and a what? Where? <laughs> you see, is this starting to sound silly to you yet? <laughs> Lisa, you mean go put a deposit? <laughs> this is a new sweater, by the way. Um, it's just like a... Yeah, but I'm so confused with the bra. The bra makes no sense to me. And I'm a woman. I can ask. It's not creepy. This bra makes no sense to me. It's got so much. It's almost like there's something like, like sitting on your chest under your shirt. You know what I mean? Because I'm sorry. We've seen the Peeps video. We've seen it. I, I'm just saying. Sweater, gotta have yeah, ma'am. We don't rent to toddlers. <laughs> so you abandoned your last place that you were on a lease with this guy. You abandoned it with all your stuff in there. 
okay, and um, broke your lease, whatever. Uh, and you want us to what? Do what? And you have a husband in Kuwait. So we're to believe you're not going to abandon your lease. Right, you're, right, right. Yeah, no. Unless you're renting from one of them, uh, what do you call it? Furnished, furnished motels. What, what a di direction change and wind that would be, right? After she accused FFG, you know, she flexed that, that dirty ass villa and she would say that FFG lived in a Motel 6. But it'd be funny if she ends up in a Motel 6 and FFG ends up in a house paid for. <laughs> the winds of YouTube. I don't know how I cleaned off my car today. Really, I don't. Sorry, I've got to blow my schnoz. I'm gonna this is another new thing. You're blowing your nose all the time, ma'am. Clean my car. Still hasn't cleaned the car. <laughs> she didn't even clean it. She said that in December when she came home. I'm going to get the car detailed. Nope, she never did. It's just one of them days. Oh, look what I have. Pink sugar. What are you, 12? <sighs> Where's the Beezer spray? It was named after you. Yes, yeah, it smells really good. I think the reason everyone gets triggered is because she gets people to invest in a journey. Kind of like Amy Ramadan. Um, she gets people to invest in a journey. And as human beings, we root for that journey. We're looking for the progress. And every time, every single fucking time, her mentals that we see is absolutely ridiculous. Get in the way of progress. Get in the way of adulting. I'm not invested either, except for the end result. So what's up, guys? Can be my roommates. Rachel, I appreciate that, but... Can you imagine how far downhill her channel will go if she goes back to Kuwait? And she knows it. That's part of the forced hand, too. Yeah, 20 grand a month to begging strangers on the internet for money. Ha! <laughs> what a fall we have taken. When she makes plenty. She makes plenty of money on YouTube, but Salah controls her money. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Keep performing, Chantal. Keep performing. He ain't doing a thing. He won't cam up. He won't fess up to what he did. He won't apologize for what he did and makes her go make the money. Gotta love it. I love it. Love it. There's only certain people I can live with in life. You can't even live with yourself. Shut it. Obviously. Obviously people I can control. Huh? No, you don't live with your husband. You don't have a husband. He doesn't live with you. Even then, I'm just joking. I'm kidding, babe. 65, wow. Well, he's not in there, so there's that. My pink puffy coat? Yeah, she should be <laughs> living under the care. <laughs> living under the care, right? She should be Britney Speared. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what lovely. <laughs> this is going to be regular content, people. Goodwill. Now stick your fingers up your nose. There you go. There you Sorry, go. Guys. There you go. I can't turn the camera because I need privacy. Look. Why don't you, you know, just turn the camera? Once I get a place. Turn it, mute it. And I have Sam. Do you think Salah sent Chantel his nudes like he did Kybella and hundreds of other women? No, I don't. I think he got into her head. It wasn't anything about that kind of uh, relationship. It was, I'll take care of you. He's seen, he knows everything about her before he even reached out. Trust that. There was no coincidence. Let's have a huge 24 hour, no, I don't know how many hours. 24 hour party bees or something, or 12 hours maybe. Maybe six hours. <laughs> 
right? Because you want to get high and you don't want that on camera, unnoticeable. Especially while you're dressed in a hijab. Why does she look at her snotty tissue? I don't know. I'm surprised she don't smell it, too. Deposit. And if I just somehow something happens, I'll just uh, cancel it, I guess. If something happens. You mean if Natter's court case gets dismissed? I'm starting to ride that train now. I am starting to think that she got summoned to come back to Canada for Natter's court case. Because she's still a resident of Canada. Now think about this. Let's look, let's really think about this. All right, we're done with your nonsense. Okay, let's think about this. Let's say the last time she was home in Canada and reapplied for her residency in Canada to get her health care. Because she'd been gone long enough that she didn't have that anymore. She went back. She applied for her residency. And that's when the crown was able to summon her and get her back to Kuwait or Canada. Yeah, she's just throwing those tissues on the floor. Don't think for a minute she's got any kind of garbage system in there. Anyway, so when she got back one-way ticket, she can't leave until she testifies. I don't know. Did Nader have a stream dismissing it or is he lying? Because everybody's following it. I just can't see it being dismissed. Especially having a prior. All right, I'm going to go look. Hold on. Everybody relax. Let's go find out. I don't trust him. Because Dee Dee was like, I know for a fact he's innocent. Like, she was panicking a little when she put up that community post that she ended up deleting. You know, you got to watch the actions of these people. Not what they say, because we know he's a liar. She's a liar. I don't even know if that channel exists anymore. Oh. No, not yet. All right, I got to put in channel. I got to put in a uh, filter. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Uh, let me see. Um, back from Gatineau, very happy. I'll have to look into that. It, it doesn't mean anything. You got to look at his body actions, which are that of a tweaker, but... You got to look at the body actions. You got to look at, you have to know Nader because Nader does lie for real when it comes to something like that. Like he wants everybody to just piss off. We don't know. We have no idea. He even like, uh, he like, he even somehow got his lawyer to n deny everybody from watching a public court case that was, um, like, shut the cameras down. We need proof from the court. Right. Or may. Let me go look. Because I, I would assume May would be really pissed off. Doesn't look like May has a channel anymore. Wow. That's really creepy. That Natter's ex looks a lot like Chantal. For real. Wow. She did take her channel down. Yeah, it's obvious. 
So I don't know. Yes. The one that passed away, I, I'm staring at her face right here. Somebody put it up. Oh, okay. So did May say anything in that channel? Oh, you haven't seen her? Okay. That's possible. He may have taken on um, the caregiver role. He may have taken some classes as a caregiver, like a, a certified assistant um, for caregiving. Then he could get paid and he could be dismissed uh, from a court case. Um, but I think that's just as a juror. That's not as, you know, when you're, you're accused of something, it don't matter what you do for a living, right? Yeah, this is really strange. S May is in here? S it's still going. Right there in the chat. Hi, May. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, definitely doesn't absolve <laughs> caregivers from a crime, right? Hang in there. Hang in there, May. Everybody put a heart in the chat for May. So it's still going on, no matter what he says. Wow. See, that's why I don't show anything, because when you pull out the truth between foodie, nodder, you know what I'm saying? And show it. Mm. They don't like that. Look at all the hearts. Yep, good for you. Don't You don't have to say anything. Of course, HD. We already know foodies instant gratification weight loss program okay but see what she left out even if she brought in um let's just say a metabolism speeder upper <laughs> if you know what i mean uh she's missing one important thing how physical she was with nader so that contributed to the weight loss. Plus you didn't have an appetite because you were just like zing, 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 right? So it may not work this time. It may actually have an adverse reaction. I suggest you get exercise and eat a diabetic diet. You will drop that weight so fast. Let's just say you stay there for three months. You could drop a hundred pounds. Hi, May. So you took your channel down? I don't blame you. It's probably best. And every time he runs his mouth, it, it could be used in court. You're fighting like hell. Yes, kids, drugs are a crazy thing. And you can't blame drugs on your aggressive, violent, or... Um, you can't blame the drugs. Right? Right. Remember when Chantal would blame all her bad behavior on alcohol or drugs? Mm. We remember what Nader did to her. Uh, remember uh, what Nader did to Chantal when he was out of his mind? Remember? So there's that. And it may just been one incident, but it still happened. Well, Chantal is not going to have a choice eventually. She's going to have to uh, lose weight or she'll end up in the hospital on a strict diet and will lose weight whether she wants to or not. Diabetic coma. Um, there are ways where she would end up losing weight without trying. Um, so why not just try? <laughs> like, why not just uh, do something for yourself for once? Instead of the devil. Always feeding the devil, aren't you? 
I gotta sneeze. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm back. Oh, she goes back to Kuwait. Her channels. <laughs> so now that we know that the court case is still ongoing, and now Chantal's back in Canada, it is perhaps the reason she can't leave. Hi, Frosty the Home Man. She may have been told, you're going nowhere, our little Canadian resident. Hiding in Kuwait is not going to stop you from being a witness. The end. I think we cracked the case, people. Sorry, poo boy. We know Salah's still controlling her money. For real. She can't even do what she wants with her own YouTube bag. Let that sink in. Right. It, listen, if, if you could use drugs and alcohol as an excuse for every bad thing people do to kids, elderly, women, um, yeah, then guess what? There'd be nobody sitting. Well, there'd be a few. I mean, because there are some mental people like that just, you know, I swear that was the devil sitting in front of me. I had to take the devil out. I don't know. But all of them that I listen to on like interrogations, always a drug or an alcohol problem. And they've just blacked out. Right? Or they, they had a psychosis. And it was... um. Uh, feel, fueled by e even the violent stuff always has something behind it. And I'm just saying, you can't use that as an excuse. Now, let's talk about Salah, who does not, right? He cannot drink or do drugs in Kuwait. So the violence that he wanted to put on Kybella, that was of a sober mind. Let that sink in, folks. Sober mind, that seems a little radical, extreme. Okay. Hmm. We're seeing a, a lot of that going on in the United States right now. Like we're having a biblical war and pretty much a civil war at this point. So to me, it's a movie. I've just been watching it. Just going, huh. And then people are like, you know, tomorrow, Monday, Monday. Whatever you do, people, don't look up. Well, no shit, you'll go blind. Or, or, they're saying, three days of darkness, don't leave your house. Is this the, I'm ready for the zombie apocalypse. I'm not staying indoors. I've got the outfit. I've got the long tree trimmer that I have to figure out. Do I do it this way? Do I put it in this way? I, like this way would be like Michonne, right? I have a feeling like, but if I do that, I might lob off my hair. So do I do it in the front? I mean, I've got the whole, listen, I got the whole thing. You know, that buckles on. The front. I think I would be safer in the front. Unless like I had my head turned and then I didn't realize, you know, that I was, you know, coming up too close. I don't know. I, I guess I need to, I need to pay attention. I have to practice. Three days of darkness. You know what that means? It don't mean, you know, it could mean, you know, the moon doesn't move. <laughs> you know, or it just goes. We're like, um, move, move, move. Somebody, who's got the remote? Make it move. Anyway, if, no, they meant darkness as in internet and that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff. That's what people are saying. I find it entertaining as hell. Because I'm ready. I don't care what happens. Actually, I'm bored. Let's do this shit. Can we do this shit and just be done? And in the end, we win. The, the citizens, not the, you know, us. The American people. Like, for once, we would feel that strength that we were, I don't know, told we had for years. The, I mean, we know the generation right now is like, you know, they're just waiting to be guided. But the rest of us, we're like, let's do it. When, where, and how. You know what I'm saying? You want? I have cat eye glasses. You want to see what cat eye glasses are supposed to look like on your face? Right? There's no... Listen, the bone is, is way back here. Right? But, but if I had fat... You see where this would be construed as a bone? It's not a bone. Okay, now here's cat eyes. This is how they sit. 
See? They sit low. You can see your eyebrows. They're on your ears. He bought her those at the pharmacy because he would never put three, $400. Uh, he, already pay, he already uses her money to pay for her eating habits. Now her THC habit, which I think is why she wants, you know, to deal with life, some PayPal's because he's not going to give her THC money. It's like 400 a week. He ain't even going to pay for, for glasses, like real prescription glasses. Do I think she went to the eye doctor when she was here last? Absolutely not. It was just a pretend appointment. So, voom, she was out of here. You know what I'm saying? You look beautiful in cat eyes. I love cat eyes. I had a pair uh, probably like, I don't even know, 20 years ago. They were my favorite. They were, um, they were white with black polka dots. Or no, they were black. Black with white polka dots. They were my favorite glasses ever. How did Sla get control of Chin's money? She gave it to him just like Nader. She Now, here's the one thing she didn't do with Nader. She, just, she would send it to him through Venmo and PayPal. She admitted it. She would also pull it out of the bank, show it all to you in her purse, and then drive to Nader's and give it to him. And then like, uh-uh, he pays his own way. How is he doing that when you made him quit his job? She made Salah quit his job too. I'm telling you, she just wants to be fake loved on YouTube. And she has improved his life. And there's probably other women that he's lining up for the ticket to Canada. Right now, I think he's squirreling her money away. I really do. I think he's putting it aside for himself, just like Nader did. She thinks she, yeah, she probably thinks she doesn't have to pay taxes on the money she gives to Salah, knowing that her channel is, in, is a Canada channel, which means TikTok, you, you know, taxes. <laughs> Just because you were sitting your ass in Kuwait doesn't mean you're not paying taxes in Canada. You don't have a residency. Anyway, I need a sugar mama as long as I don't have to touch her. Eeky. Kiki, kiki. All right, I gotta go. I got shit to do. I think I'm gonna color my hair tomorrow. I think I've had enough. Well, I got, I'm just gonna fade in some uh, blonde into the gray. Look at how white that's getting. Wow, I love it. Like Pink Floyd said, I'll see you on the dark side of the moon. Right on. So I was saving for his future. His future. He's gonna, trust me, this channel is... He's taking whatever he can get. He's got the car. He And listen, he's probably squirreling away enough payments that he could go quite a while. Go get yourself that sugar foot, mama. My hair is getting looking thicker. Yes. Keratin. Bi botanical. Definitely. Thicker. Thicker. You guys have a nice day too. Thank you for hanging out with me for like way too long. Sorry. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for trying to figure this shit show out. And thank you, May, for joining us. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you came here. I really am. It's good to know that, I don't know, you have a right to be heard. You actually do. You absolutely do. Stay safe. And uh, thank you guys all for being here. And thank you for the thumbs up on the way out. It means the world to me. And don't forget, we've got the new um, Gen X uh, shirts in the store. I got, them, I got them in white lettering and I've got them in black lettering. The Gen X, raised on hose water and neglect, bitches. We are feral. <laughs> All right, guys, I love y'all. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Bye, guys.